Hello everyone, I'm Yanis Kalafatis and together we will see how to get everybody's attention in your party uh, or your date or a little snack that you can have with your partner or whatever. Uh, just such a simple and quick snack you can do at home. Uh, simply all you need to have is some flour, some egg white, some oil, a pan, <laughs> uh, feta and some sesame seeds preferably. You can change the seeds, you can change the flour, you can do a lot of, lot of stuff. Um, anyway, enough talking. Let's have a look. Uh, the recipe will be on our website and uh, make sure you click this red button so we create more amazing content like this. Actually, let me get you that shit. <laughs> so that's all the ingredients we will need for today. Here's some feta. I've already cut it into kind of fingers, they're like a bit like this size, you can play around with the size, doesn't really matter. And then we've got a simple pan station, this is what we got called into a professional uh, kitchen, basically it's a flour and then some egg wash, that could, it varies on the preparation. Uh, for today we just have egg white because we don't want a lot of color and we just want it, uh, uh, the sesame to stick and um, the pan to be successful and then some seeds. So we will start on the flour, uh, simply like that. And then here is very important, you want to dust it and drop it on the egg wash. Then we're not going to touch it, we're going to do the same for the rest. All right, now that we've got all of them done, we'll get onto the egg wash. And the reason I'm not using tongs is because they're gonna remove a lot of surface from the uh, feta and then after I've shaken it a bit and there's no a lot of egg white hanging into the sesame seeds. If you don't want a strong sesame seed flavor, you can uh, use some panko or some breadcrumbs, maybe 50-50, that's up to you. And here, we're not gonna touch it with our wet hands uh, yet. <laughs> we can use a little spoon and actually, I will need to use my hands. <laughs> uh, shake it a little bit and then put it there. Now, the reason that um, we shake the flour off before it goes into the egg white is otherwise it's gonna create globs. Okay, a little pause here. Uh, we will switch on the heat. We got a pan just with neutral oil, something with a higher smoking point so it doesn't smoke that easily. And we'll go on. Okay, here we are. Here are all of our uh, panned fetas, they're already super quick, very simple to do. Now here you probably want to use a thermometer, either um, digital or uh, probe, uh, it's up to you. Ideally we want it on to 160-170 degrees, no more because it's gonna burn it. Um, I have a digital thermometer, it's quite handy. Now, another thing you need to uh, keep in mind when you're working with sesame seeds, uh, they get wet easily, so you keep in mind to have a bit of extra. And uh, yeah, the most of it done. And we're ready, we're 165. So I'll turn it off and I'll go with our first feta in. And now we simply let it to cook, there's not much secret. The one thing I will say is, once you put it in, um, for the first seconds, don't shake it too much, because the seed's gonna fall off. 
Now we're just looking to lower the color and then there's no probing, there's nothing you need to do. Once the system is colored enough, then you'll find that the feta is uh, uh, melted inside and outside you have a beautiful layer and then the system it sits to add a bit of crispiness and oh my god, that will be sweet, sour and perfect. There you go, that's the color we're looking for. We're gonna shake it a little bit. There you go, this golden brown. Oh my god. Like, but honestly, like, look how easy it is to make, okay? So let's add our next three. In my case, I'm not gonna do more than three because it's gonna overflow. I've had too much oil. Um, but if you're doing big quantities, you can add more big, in a bigger pan, uh, big creative. See the looks is has gone down. Yes, yeah, on 155, so we're gonna give it a little boost. <laughs> and there we go. Our second round coming out slowly, slowly. Don't worry and don't be scared about the crackling sound, it's simply the feta uh, water content reacting to the oil, fetas. And then we're gonna go the last two in and that's it. Okay, here are all, all of our fetas done. I uh, will move the oil on the far corner carefully and leave it there to cool down, forget about it. Now, now for the plating, um, feel free, so I've got some... Greek honey, that is phenomenal, uh, that particular one is from, if you're asking, uh, I think it's from Sprooks, I can't remember, <laughs> the previous, I had, that's fair and something else, it's mixed, if I remember correctly, and then we've got some sour cherry syrup, it's a Greek thing, um, feel free to try both, any honey is good, um, now, for the plating, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some sour cherry syrup here, and then we're gonna go do like a just a funny circle like that, and we're gonna plate them like that. They're beautiful themselves, right? So they don't need a lot of stuff. Be careful now, if you leave it to get cold, you know, don't burn yourself. Yeah, please give it a try. Let me know down below what you think, if you have any suggestions or if you would change something um anything you need i'm here uh yeah leave it you leave your questions down below in the comments recipe can be found um the link will be in the description or you can just type yaniscalafatis.com and uh, we have a beautiful site and uh, with a photography blog that's another thing we do and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe so we grow this channel a little bit more and you motivate us, uh, yeah, thanks so much, have a beautiful day, evening or night.